day. Good morning, Toronto. And we're all here wearing our mm -hmm. orange shirts as we will be until, you know, all day long. And mm -hmm. we have a special from 9 to 10 this morning with BT Canada dedicating the full hour to educating and using our show as a platform. A lot of people still don't realize why we're wearing, you know, orange shirts right. today. And you're speaking to the founder later, D at yeah, 9. I am, yeah. So Orange Shirt Day, of course, uh, honors, honoring, uh, you know, what happened, the atrocities that happened uh, for 150,000 Indigenous children who endured Canada's residential school system for over 100 years. So uh, it, it wasn't too long ago. You know, you heard Mayor yeah. Tory, if you were joining us earlier, uh, speak about this as well. So uh, we, are, we are looking to educate, all of us, ourselves included, uh, and to learn from this and obviously uh, reconcile what we can and, and move forward, yeah. but not forgetting. So we'll, we'll speak more about that in the 9 o'clock hour, about everything and, and any questions you might have, please let us know mm -hmm. as well. And our government formally apologized mm -hmm. in 2008, but today we're doing much more to learn about this dark facet of our country's history. And as Mayor Tory did touch upon, this is where children were taken from their homes and put into these schools and given instant haircuts, uh, their clothes would be, you know, more uniform. And Mel will actually give us a really in, uh, enlightening view as to what happened in these schools. And it's very difficult for everybody to hear, but it's important mm -hmm. uh, in order for us to atone and then hope for reconciliation. Yeah, it wasn't so, that long yeah. ago as well. 1996 was the last yeah. residential school. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, I know during my education, I didn't know what a residential school was. Same. And I, I don't know if I'm hearing even today that my kids are learning too much about it at this time. And that's what yeah. we're trying to do today is to educate, to also inspire others to learn a little bit more and to pay tribute to those lives lost and a part of our history that we would love to forget, but we have to recognize. Mm -hmm. That's right. And as you mentioned, you know, in the school systems now, are we learning about it enough? And, and probably not. So if you do have questions, ask them. Don't, yes. don't be ashamed of asking these questions because that will help you learn and, and help all of us learn and, and grow. And oftentimes art is a way to do that. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, in our recent history, it was Gord Downey before his passing mm -hmm. that made it part of his legacy that he wanted to continue to talk about this and dedicated music and a video to describing the horrors in the history so that we will not uh, repeat these horrible uh, indignities mm -hmm. that so many children faced. And that's the only way we can move on is by sharing and grieving together and then hopefully healing. So we have a really powerful show. We have performances. We have incredible stories that are hopefully thought provoking. Yep. And uh, we're going to share it here for right a full here, hour yeah. from 9 to 10. So. Yeah. Stay tuned, everybody. Right now, we're going to check in with Mel to see what's topping headlines. Oh, Actually, it's Frankie. you, Frankie, with a forecast. Yeah. I'll and do right that here. any time Thanks, of the day. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's take a look at that forecast on a day. That's the final day of the month of September, September the 30th. Let's take a look what we got for you on this day. It's through the afternoon. We're going to get into some